I'm just kind of swing my arms and just get everything kind of loosened up before I get started. Sometimes if I'm really sore from the last workout, I'll need, I guess, a little bit more time to warm up. So make sure you allow yourself um, an adequate amount of time to warm up based on how sore you are. You know, if you haven't trained in a while, um, if you've been sick, like I'm recovering from being sick, so I'm probably gonna warm up a little bit more. So just adjust it and make sure you give yourself that time to warm up so you're not like shocking your body and going straight into a hard workout. Um, I've learned that, especially with managing a chronic illness like I have, it definitely helps to ease into your workouts, especially with boxing and things that are really intense. I've noticed that it's just a little bit easier if you kind of start slowly and then kind of get into the workout. So I'm gonna start with just some dynamic stretches, arm swings, leg swings, because even though boxing, a lot of people think because you're punching, you're using mostly your arms, you actually use your legs and your hips just as much in boxing as you do with your arms. My legs are still sore from my leg workout, so I am going to take a little bit of extra time to warm up my legs. Ugh. Yeah, my hamstrings are really tight. My hips are really tight, so I definitely want to open that up because when you're boxing, you want to be able to move your hips and generate power in your punches. So if your legs are really tight and you can't rotate your hips the way that you need to, and that can definitely limit your power. So what I'm gonna do now is warm up with some lateral movement. And basically I'm just gonna go back and forth, uh, up and down this wall. And yeah, that'll just kind of help me warm up and also kind of helps me work on my footwork a little bit, so. So I have these wraps, they are Hayabusa, and these are like the pre-wrapped gloves. So I am just using these because I don't have any other wraps clean right now. I need to wash the other ones, but I'm using these, and these are really nice because they have the gel to kind of protect your knuckles, so I got them wrapped. So before I get into my workout, I'm going to shadow box for a little bit just to kind of get moving. Then I'm going to hit the bag and I don't really have like a set workout today. I'm kind of just freestyling it. So we'll see what happens. Um, I kind of wanted to have a plan, but whatever. It doesn't always work out that way. Can't plan everything. If you watch any like bodybuilding channel or even a lot of fitness channels, they'll tell you to do cardio after you lift weights. But I honestly think it just depends on what you're working on at, at the time. Like right now, my boxing is more important to me than, you know, what I look like, my physique and all that. I'm more concerned with my skills in boxing. So to me, it's a lot smarter for me to 
get my boxing done first and then lift weights. So that way I use my energy for my boxing and then whatever energy I have left, I'll use it towards lifting weights. But since I'm not doing a bodybuilding show, I'd rather prioritize my boxing. So I honestly think it just depends on what your goals are. If you're doing like a bodybuilding show or if you're trying to work on your physique or lose weight, then maybe lifting first is better. I don't know. So I'm going to shadow box and then I will also hit the bag a little bit without my gloves. I like to hit the bag without gloves on for a little bit just to kind of get my hands in the habit of like clenching my fist. So yeah. So I have two pairs of the Hayabusa T3 gloves. These are the gloves I use to hit the heavy bag. I have slightly bigger gloves that I use for sparring, but these are the ones that I use for drills and heavy bag. So today I'm gonna go with the pink, but I usually wear the white. This next round I'm gonna do for power. My arms are really tired from yesterday, so I'm not able to really generate that much speed. So I'm gonna see if I can at least generate power.
do some shoulder press I'm not gonna go super heavy just using 15 pounds I haven't done these super consistently for a while so I don't want to overdo it so we'll see how I do <coughs> So now I'm going to do bicep curls with 10 pound dumbbells. Not doing anything too crazy, just doing some basic stuff. Um, shoulder press, bicep curls, and then I'm gonna do lateral raises. And then I'm going to do a cool down, so I'm really not getting too crazy. With this, since I did a little bit on the heavy bag, covering from being sick, just trying to ease back into training. So it's okay to have workouts where you know you don't go crazy um, as long as you actually do a workout is all that matters. Just foam rolled my legs and now I'm going to stretch my legs out. I am so like my hamstrings are so tight yesterday or from yesterday so my legs are really tight so I'm going to stretch them and hopefully they are super sore.
that is going to be my workout for tonight. I am going to go use my Theragun and kind of just massage my muscles for a little while, but I'm not going to film that. I'm just going to go do it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to go do, but thanks for working out with me today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, 